I'm the manager of geology and long-term planning uh, for ArcelorMittal in Princeton, West Virginia. We use uh, Mindscape uh, for our modeling tool, our geologic modeling, and I use uh, GDB for a database. So all my data is stored in GDB and then all my modeling is done in Mindscape. With Mindscape we can plan efficiently. We can make solid decisions based on uh, facts derived from the data. Mindscape allows you to walk away knowing exactly what you have uh, and make sound decisions. What, uh, what Mindscape does is when you bring in thousands of data points, you, there's no team large enough to go through it. Mindscape does a lot of the thinking for you, such as seam pinch outs. Uh, it's going to check and make sure seams are in order. We work in the Pocahontas series, in the Pocahontas coal formation, where there could be 16 different coal seams. It makes sure that it follows the rules that I have set up. So the data comes in, uh, I don't have to sit down and go through every data point and check it. I can pick areas that I'm interested in working in. So the database maybe has 25,000 data points. I only need 500 for this project. I can go in and carve out that 500 and work just in there. And it, it does uh, a lot of the interpolators. Um, it does all your geostatistics for you and, and it does the it does the geologic modeling. The benefit of GDB is it, it protects your data. So we're making decisions based off the data so it only makes sense to protect it. Uh, it goes in, it goes through a vetting process. If it's not right, it stops you. It gives you the opportunity to go back and fix it. Once everything looks good, it, it will load into the database. So once it's in there, uh, it's, it's really important to protect that data, not just from um, malicious corruption, but inadvertent as well. Mistakes, humans make mistakes. Well, GDB won't allow you, a, an, an unknown user or uh, say a subordinate working on a project to inadvertently hide a row, delete a row, change a number, or you know you have malicious malicious corruption. Somebody's going to leave the company, go in and, and wipe out critical data. So it protects it. I know, I know it's safe, and I know if somebody has been in it and looked at it. So when I when I use the data, when I bring it into Mindscape, I know it's okay. I know it's gone through the vetting process. The result. Uh, there's two phases, there's the short-term results. Where do we go next in the pit? Uh, are the qualities uh, within compliance of the, of the shipment? That has to, if, if, you, if you have a train reject and you, you have to know that long before so you can blend it out or wash it down. Critical for short-term. For long-term, where are we going in 10 years? Uh, we're investing a lot in capital. Is that capital going to be spread over five years or 20 years? How long are we here? How big should the business be? Are we too big? Are we too small? The, the software allows you to answer those questions and actually lay out. I'm working, I'm working up to 20 years ahead to see what we already control, what we have, and what its value is. The long-term planning is looking at a bigger scope. So if you were to take, say, 25,000 drill holes, and within that drill hole is t are 25 coal seams, the staff you would have to have to go through each and every one, you just, you just couldn't do it. No one could look that far ahead before. The, the resources, and our resources, and I mean human resources, are getting smaller. You don't have the staff anymore to hand them a project and say, come back in a year. Uh, we are, we're it. There's a very small group. So, so we have to get more done with less people. Uh, the software lets us do that. Operations, 
they want it yesterday. And the systems that we had before, we could, if they asked the question, it could be six months. Uh, they don't want six months, they want six hours. And even then it's too late. So the pace that we work at is fast. Um, they're, they're already asking the next question. You have to be ready to answer the first question. Uh, there was a property that was acquired by ArcelorMittal that was passed from company to company and uh, they basically said it was not profitable. It was, um, it was, the reserves were not mineable. Well, we went in there and gathered, first we mined our data, went through the data, we cleaned it up, we put it in a model form and we're showing now where it, it is mineable and it is profitable. And we're probably adding about uh, eight to 10 years worth of mining uh, to an area that had been written off. And uh, that's gonna put a lot of people to work. It's gonna help the community. Uh, the, the whole supply chain keeps working, whether it's uh, maintenance, tires, the local grocery store.